Hi children, today we are going to study an easy trick of converting fraction to decimal. So, as we know how to write uh, fractions, the fractions as a numerator and the denominator, is it? This is called fractions. This is called P by Q form or fraction. It has numerator and it has denominator, is it? Then, in this fraction, we have to convert into decimal. First, what we should do? First, look at the denominator. Count the number of zeros in the denominator. This gives you the number of decimal place. First, you should count the number of zeros. How many number of zeros are there? Only one zero, is it? Then what you should do? You should write the numerator only write the numerator here then the next step is how many zeros in the denominator you have to move from the right of the number so here is the right of the number move one place only one zero means one place and put the decimal point put the decimal point understood in this way we are converting fraction to decimal. I will give you another example. 67 by 100. In this case, look at the denominator. How many zeros are there? Two zeros are there, is it? Then what we should do? First, we should write the numerator like that, is it? Then, how many zeros? Two zeros. You have to move two places from where? Right of the number 1, 2. Then you put decimal point. Here no other number. So we put 0 over here. So this is the answer. Understood? And the next question is 5 by 1000. In this case, how many zeros are there in the denominator? 3 zeros, is it? So what we should do? We have to move 3 places. First we should write the numerator like that. But what, what it is there? It is only one digit. We have to move three places from the right of the number, is it? When there are not enough digits in the number, on the left side of the numerator, place zeros to the left to get the required number of the digit. Then only we will put the decimal point. Here only one digit. We have to make it as 3 digit. Now it is 3 digit, is it? Then we have to put decimal point. Understood? In this way, we are doing converting fraction to decimal. Understood? Next, we will uh, study converting mixed numbers to decimal. Actually, what is mixed numbers? Mixed number are two parts. A whole number part and a fractional part. In the decimal system, the decimal points separate the whole number part from the fractional part. How to write decimal numbers? No, how to write mixed numbers? 2, 4 by 10. Is it? This part is called whole number part and this part is called fractional part. Understood? Then, we will convert this. This is called mixed number. Is it? We will convert this mixed numbers to decimal. First, what we should do? First, write the whole number like that only. Don't do anything with the whole number part. Then what we should take? We should take the fractional part. 4 by 10. As I told you before, look at the denominator. How many zeros are there? We have to move that much place from right side. So write numerator like that. Put a point because it is only one zero. Only one place we should move. So like that it will come. Is it? So, but our number is 4, 2, 4 by 10. Then the whole number part, what it is there? 2 is there. Is it? Then put a point and write 4. It will be 2.4. Understood? Next question is 18 by 14 by 100. In this case, 18 is the whole number part. 14 by 100 is the fractional part. 
how we will write we will write directly is it write 18 like that and 14 look at the denominator how many zeros two zeros so as usual we know we have to move two places is it then point one four understood 14 by 100 is two places move and put decimal point it will be 18.14 understood easily next the third one 25 3 by 1000 in this case we should write 25 like that then put a point is it then 3 by 1000 means we have to we need three places is it from the right side only three is only three is there we have to make it as two more digits it will be three digits three digit after decimal point it will be 25.003 understood in this case three is the only numerator we have to make it uh, as three digit so we put two zeros from the left of the number it makes three digit then only we put decimal point totally it is three digit right now is it so 25.003 understood The next one is converting decimals to fraction. We already convert fraction to decimal. Now we will go through decimal to fraction. The first question is 1.8. This is the decimal number is it? If it is point we should remember it is a decimal number. First what you should do? You should count the number of decimal places. This gives you number of zeros in the denominator. How many how many decimal places? Only one place more. So that means you should rewrite the number without the decimal point as numerator. So without decimal point, how you will write? 18 divided by. Then write the denominator as many zeros as decimal place. How many point? 1. So 1 zero. 18 by 10. Understood. If it is one place moving, you, you should write 10. Next one, 3.25. What we should do? Rewrite the number without decimal point as the numerator. First, we should write like that. Then look at the decimal point. How many point? 1, 2. So, it will be 100. Two zeros. Is it? Then the third one, 0 0.178. First of all, we should do rewrite the number without decimal point. Then how many moves are there from the right of the number? 1, 2, 3. That means 3 zeros. It will be 1000. Understood? In this way we are doing. Got it? I will give you another number. 0 0.009. How we will write? 9 only we should write because 0, 0 no value at all. And how many moves? 3 moves. 3 moves always will come. 1000. Got it. Next one. 0 0.93. That means you should write 93 as numerator. How many moves? 2 moves. It will be 100. Got it. In this way we are converting decimal to fraction. Now you understood how to convert fraction to decimal and decimal to fraction this is the easy way we have to convert it thank you